of stuck here. The cops won't bother me. Guys, here is the Honda XR650R. I've been waiting all night to ride it. And man, this bike is just so badass. And I was kind of lucky to get it with the CRF450 forks. Look at this. Look how beefy these forks are. Upside down forks. Really fantastic. And it's got the Baja Designs dual sport kit with an HID light. And this is glass, I think. Um, he did this modifying of the front fender. It looks pretty trick. And of course you got the Supermoto wheels, the 17 inches. The guy was, I guess you can say he was a, a wheelie bandit, so he was definitely using this bike to do wheelies and stunts, but hey, beggars can't, can't be choosers. This bike, it's hard to believe that this bike is an historic bike. It's from the year 2000, that's 20 years old. We're in 2020, so 20 years old. It can be tagged as, as historic. And look at it. There are some like little issues. Look at that. He even put a. That's that's not stock anymore. <laughs> He's done a lot of stuff to it, and this is enough to market exhaust. I noticed that it's broken over here, so it probably, yeah, it moves around, but it doesn't. Um, it's not too bad. I'm probably going to have to reweld that. But it's pretty clean. I think he never used it in the dirt. So that's a good thing. You know, I don't have to clean up the inside. It's a carbureted version. So that's one of the downsides of this bike is that I think the carbs weren't too good on it. And it's got a petcock. So it's very easy just to kind of turn it on. And this is the stock tank. It's got some issues with the air going into the decals. Uh, let's see this seat. I think he worked on it. It's got a rip over there um, Back here It's got Since it's got the dual sport kit. It's got the blinkers. This works as a taillight. It's not very useful It's not like a, it's a good bike for riding around town because if you ride around traffic some people don't see that light and It's not a very bright light I remember when I had my old XR650, a guy almost like hit me from behind at a light because he didn't see this because it's so underpowered. Um, there are electrics that you upgrade, but so this one's got mirrors. It's got really bad grips that I'll replace, and that's part of the dual sport kit. So this one's got this little lever here. That's a decompression lever. Because this bike is just so hard to kickstart, yeah, and that's right, it's a kickstart only, no electric start. And this bike weighs 277 pounds, wet. I believe it's wet, yeah, it's wet. And it's a 650 thumper, so it's a really long stroke thumper. The CRF 450s are much shorter, they sound different, but this one is, it's kind of special. And look at that. On this side, he's got this uh, uh, sprocket cover along with this. It's, it's a really small engine. And that's your coolant bottle. I do have the bash plate for it. And I will be putting it on. I actually like having the bash plate. But he removed it because he didn't like it. I like it, so I'll be putting it on. Uh, the chain still looks pretty decent. Sprockets. Uh, I'll probably have to look at it a little bit more. He modified this uh, plastic, and look at that, see, there's like some bubbling here that I'll have to completely fix. I might even remove this and just buy a new plastic. I think it's worth it. So up here, you have your dual sport um, with turn signals. This button seems to have fallen off. You have your horn, you have your lights. Not even sure how. He's got this that he, he added. So that's another thing that he added. He also added the hand guards. And it's got a phone mount. So the phone mount is really good. And look at that. That is some rash over here. So that means that he probably did a wheelie. And he looped it. And then rashed. 
yeah you know I prefer getting bikes that aren't uh, being used for stunts but when in Rome and the clutch is really really difficult to turn so I might have to oil it up and I do have the oil so and that's the Baja designs there's a light I believe that's a indicator for the light see it's really bright and then that's the I believe that's the HID uh, ballast and I do have a bunch of parts so that's the XR650R we're gonna take it for a spin but I want to show you what other parts came with it I have this CRF450 front wheel and then I got an extra set of XR650 fairings and they look pretty good I, you know these break all the time and of course look at this XR650R the stock forks and they're completely new the only thing he did was remove the the gators here and then you have a tire that's pretty much new and these are warp 9 rims and of course I got this other rim and here's the bash plate I just put stuff everywhere but that's a, a really good bash plate and then I have a I believe it's 3.5 gallon tank so I do like the long range but I don't quite know what I'll be doing yet with it um, it's nice that it just comes yeah that's the XR650R we're gonna take it for a short spin and see how it rides and I mean, it's a really good bike really fun bike that's the thing like this bike it's not meant for touring or cruising this is just kind of meant to have fun rip trails up uh, do wheelies be kind of like a general hooligan it's a very different bike than any sort of bike that you use for commuting In my old XR650 I did use it for commuting and I used it for trail riding and that's the bike I did single track trails with but I don't recommend it if you're a new motorcycle rider and you want to ride off-road and by off-road I mean single track trails this is not a very good bike for it not for me because I don't have the skills but at a certain point I was definitely getting much better and I was keeping up with um, guys on 250s I even raced the hair scramble on the XR650R in Bud's Creek I came in 188 plate but place but uh, I still raced it um, don't recommend it but if you want to ride more open trails this is the bike for it it's a hundred mile an hour dirt bike uh, literally 110 mile an hour dirt bike it's pretty fast there are faster dirt bikes out there now but at the time this came out it was a Baja killer so it was used for the Baja races that's why it's 650 it was more for the open trails out there in the desert and it does really well for it another interesting thing is that the oil is right there and it's a dipstick you pull it out and the oil is in the frame so this is an aluminum frame and very modern so a lot of people they just think that oh yeah this is an XR650 the one that you get you can't get this anymore and it's becoming very sought after and it has nothing to do with the XR650L as a matter of fact I used to ride my XR650R with a guy with an L and we traded bikes a couple of times and it was just incredibly different and we were riding single track he was riding single track it was very difficult to ride the L version this thing it's got very tight suspension geometry is really like tight on it's much more powerful it uh, wheelies in every gear and it's a very good bike to kind of have fun with so let's go ahead and get start get it started and go for a quick spin I think that's what I like the low speed kind of like sporting around corners and they're just kind of squeezing out Even these bumpy roads man you can go pretty fast an awesome sound guys I'm not even going fast I'm like oh man you gotta get 
get on the gas on this tire. 